In this video, we'll see how to incrementally build upon linear models to identify nonlinear dynamics of our system by combining system identification methods with machine learning and deep learning techniques. Nonlinear models are helpful when linear models cannot adequately capture the dynamics of the process or the system that you're trying to identify. The System Identification Toolbox offers different nonlinear modeling techniques such as nonlinear ARX and Hammerstein Wiener models where you can include your insights or knowledge of physics of your system. Neural state space models where you can create deep learning based nonlinear state space models. And finally, nonlinear gray box models where you represent your nonlinear system using ordinary differential or difference equations and then estimate physically meaningful parameters from measured data. In a previous video in this series, you learned how to utilize physics inspired estimators within nonlinear ARX and Hammerstein Wiener models to include knowledge of physics of your system for identification. In this video, we'll focus on how to start with a linear model and leverage neural network estimators to capture nonlinear dynamics using the same two models. Let's get started. To showcase this workflow, let's look at a demo. Here, we want to model the nonlinear dynamics of a spark ignition engine. The inputs to this model are the engine speed, ignition timing, throttle position, and wastegate valve, and the output is the engine torque. This identified model of the engine can be used for performing desktop simulation and hardware in the loop testing, powertrain control, diagnostic, and algorithm design. The measured data can be obtained from engine hardware. To estimate this model from the measured data, we can open the system identification app and import the data sets. The input output data has been split into estimation and validation data sets and has been downsampled to speed up training. These pre-processing steps can also be done within the app. Next, let's identify an initial state space model for the system. If you already have an initial model from your prior modeling efforts, you can import this into the app instead. For the discrete time state space models, you can experiment with different model orders or let the tool pick the best order for the system within a certain range. Here, I'm providing a range of 1 to 10 and the tool picks 5 as the best order for the system. We can also specify elements to include or exclude in the model structure such as feed through and the disturbance component. Next, we can start the estimation process. The software adds the estimated state space model to the graphical user interface. We can then evaluate how well the simulated model performs on the validation data set. Has seen, the model can capture some of the engine dynamics but doesn't give us a great fit to the measured output. However, this model can be used as a starting point for building a nonlinear ARX model. The nonlinear ARX model consists of model regressors, which in the simplest case are delayed input and output values. These are then passed into an output function which contains linear and a nonlinear function that act on these regressors to give the model output. A wide array of options is available for selecting the nonlinear estimator, which includes machine learning and deep learning algorithms. Unlike a complete black box approach, we can use our prior state space model as a starting point and carry over some of the system insights into the nonlinear ARX model. This is particularly useful if your initial model is physically meaningful and you would like to retain this information in the nonlinear model. You can also use a transfer function or linear ARX model as a starting point. The tool uses the order from the state space model to compute the linear regressors. Through this, we can use our knowledge of physics of the system and reduce guesswork while selecting the right lags. We can choose to fix this linear model and only estimate the additional nonlinearities. This ensures that our estimated model will be at least as effective, if not better, than the linear model while not altering any of our system insights. For the nonlinear part of the output function, we can use a neural network with two hidden layers, each containing four nodes, and ReLU has the activation function. These settings were arrived at after some experimentation. 
system. As part of the estimation process, the tool computes a nonlinear function and the offset. Let's proceed to estimate this. The tool will iterate to optimize the model and subsequently add it to the GUI. As seen from the output, the estimated nonlinear model gives us a very good fit. This model is more interpretable than a complete black box model as we start off with an initial state space um, dynamics that includes the physical insights. We can also use a nonlinear model as a starting point. You might want to do this if you wish to further refine the estimated nonlinear model. Alternatively, we can repeat the exact same workflow using a Hammerstein Wiener model where it consists of static input and output nonlinearities connected in series with a dynamic linear block. Once you have estimated the nonlinear model, you can bring the model to MATLAB workspace and then use it within Simulink with the help of the built-in blocks. The estimated model can be used in applications such as control design, hardware in the loop testing, reduced order modeling, and many more. In summary, this video showed how you can include your insights or prior knowledge of physics for estimating nonlinear dynamics while leveraging deep learning techniques. For further insights into leveraging machine learning and deep learning techniques with system identification, please watch the linked videos. Thank you for watching.